Midwestern skulls for the broken Latino. People who crave the jaw and knock the fox's gentle tail. His landmine of teeth, a temporary exit for those who yearn to return to the coyote's tent to reclaim their belongings. The chopped head, the neck before it was plucked from the rest of the body like a hen's for dinner. Antique shops for raccoons clawed feet, a necklace for women in labor. After the snow melts, the dead return to their natural habitats, eyes barely shut under the charcoal, whiskers trapped in the pine cones. Some secrets are better rolled into the mouths of strangers while they sleep. A father can make up suffering's seasons, leave in the afternoon, then sneak in through a windowless frame. Though these two can be called winter and fall and held by a child's contemptuous hands in a garden where only the wind can be torn from branches. Did they really mean to leave us shipwrecked, those sailors who recognize flesh, but not what the flesh can camouflage? People covet the mandible as it's handed down for all to drink from. In his hands, I appear dead, but here, here in my chest is where my father finds the new continent of directions measured in forgiveness. I sleep in the wilderness like a fox loitering in a frozen meadow and I'll feed him forgiveness if he asks.